Yeah, he was just like walking around. All of a sudden, he's like, "Yeah, I want some cocaine." We're like, "Wait, what do you say?" Oh, guess what, dude? You just got reported. <laughs> yeah, guess what? You guess what? Reported. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked. Guess what? You're gay. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm not gay. I just can't. I'm gay here. <laughs> yeah, didn't he have like downs or? No, he, he was he like was he was like deaf, but he could hear Chris play his day. Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking give off. Like, dude, I have no. Like, people have sympathy for like people that have like, you know, they're fucking blind or deaf. I have no sympathy for fucking deaf people anymore after being in college with them four years. I'm sure Why? The fucking shit we have to deal with. To deal with blind or deaf people every day. They get Why? What was like? They get fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they Why? Were... What was like? What made fucking deaf people so? <laughs> like, yeah. As Bryant says, four years. It was actually two. Two. Yeah, we were, we were only at RIT for two years. No, we weren't. Uh, well, you. Oh, were... wait, hold on. I was. No, no, no. Think about RIT. N was one year, and then uh. It wasn't four years, though. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh shit. Mm. One year at the RATN. One year. Two years at the, uh... There's somebody right below me. Oh, my God. Is there a gun near me anywhere? Chris? Right below us, dude. Yep. There's a gun right here, dumbass. A shotgun. I fucking ran right past it. He's literally right below me. And somebody oh, up top shooting at you. Oh, I can see that. I'm a. Oh my god, dude. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Give me up, Yep. Fuck. Dude. It's a quit. Okay, so RAT in one year. And then we stayed at the. Uh, fuck are those. University UC? Commons. We stayed there two years. So that's three years right there. So you stayed three years, and then I and then I stayed in Rochester at that house for another year. So that was four years for me. Yeah, but you can't count the house as like. I deaf people. okay. This is where I'm counting me dealing with deaf people. I worked on campus, and they would come into work. Wow. But guys got my computer. I'm like, <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> you for the millionth time about deaf person. So I'll go over to the little like screen with the computer. Texas. Yeah, the little text to speech fucking I am thing, and yeah, because that's what I'll do. Like they'll come in, and you'll see that little cochlear ear thing on their fucking ear to help. Even though they have those things, they still don't fucking understand what you're saying. So I'll see that, and I'll kind of like scooch my chair over to the thing. They're like, I can hear you. Like here we go. I'm like, what's your problem? He's like, well, I'm, I could be. I'm like, dude, you think you're speaking English, but you're really not. I'm just. You sound like that guy in Family Guy. <laughs> dude, seriously that. And I was like, I'm sorry, I can't understand. He's like, you can't understand me. And they get, like, all pissed at me. I'm like, what do you want me to do in this situation? If I can't understand you, I can't understand you. And then, they've not, they, and then when they, when they actually do type, they don't, like, write in English. It's, it's not even like they're texting. It's, like, worse than texting. They're like, let's say, like, like, and, like, if they go to say that is the cat, they'll say that is cat. Like, they don't say, like, the and, like, other shit. They're just like, that's cat. When they sign, yeah, because when they sign, they don't sign Correct. Those words. I forget the type of words, like, not adjectives, Shorthand. but it's, it's... like filler words or whatever. Shorthand. Yeah, something like that. But, yeah, that's how they type as well. And I'm like, do you guys do this in your fucking essays and shit at school? Like, the teacher's like, oh, he's just deaf, so he can write that. Like, what? I, I don't get it. But they, they're all stuck up, so they can fuck, suck up, you know. That's probably the thing, though, is they probably have, like, an attitude, like, you have to kiss my ass because I'm deaf, because people have literally been doing it their entire lives. Like, uh, I think I've told Mark before, where, um, there was this old dude that came in and sat, it's, Mark's seen our desk before, it's like, it's not even, it's, maybe two, three foot, like, between you and the customer sitting at your desk, and there's this old dude sitting there just shitting his pants, like, he's deaf. Just leaning and farting. I'm like, dude, I, I know you know I can hear that, right? Like, we can smell it. We can see you leaning. Like, I can hear it. But he just leans, farts, leans, farts, just keeps doing it. 
Then some hot chick strolls in, right? Sits down. I'm like, here we go. He's going to shit his pants right with hers because she could hear. And she's talking. Dude never fucking farted or anything while she sat there. She, the moment she leaves the room, I'm like, really, dude? My God. <laughs> fucking, you know what you're doing, you piece of shit. Dude, fuck deaf people though. Like everybody kisses their ass. Like big whoop, you can't hear, <laughs> so you can't hear honking horns. Fuck you. Yeah, and you don't have to listen to deaf people. Fuck. You know what that sounds like? <laughs> Let's just bail for a second, dude. <laughs> All right. Did you hear deaf people? Fuck. Yeah, they lived upstairs above me. <laughs> I didn't know if they were dying at first, but once I found out the deaf people lived upstairs, I'm like, okay, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> like whoa, what? Dude, I heard the deaf people upstairs, and then black people live next to us, and I heard them banging like literally through my wall. Remember me pointing that out? You see, Mark? We can hear him. Yeah. <laughs> no! uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, no! <laughs> I pulled a Chris. Fuck Dude, you, I, asshole. I hit the side of the building, my parachute came undone, and I just flew all the way down to the ground. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know if I could get you out. Fuck. <laughs> right, I'm, gonna get him. I'm in a corner over here. <laughs> can, you, can, you, <laughs> can you do black people fucking or dead people fucking over time? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's go get shot once and fucking die. Alright, I'll, I'll get it on the stream highlights, dude. <laughs> okay, oh god. <laughs> Mark, can you confirm her to the night? <laughs> oh my god, yep, there I go. <laughs> One shot from a shotgun. <laughs> oh my god. There's people up here, too. I'm coming. Fuck. They're underneath of us. Can't get anything rolling. Nice shots. Who is this? Is this Mark? Right? Yeah, it's Mark. Nice shots. Nice shotgun, you fucking cunt. Yeah, dude. I've, I've heard deaf sex. I've been to a deaf party before. You ever heard of one of those? <laughs> you ever been to a deaf party, Chris? <laughs> yeah, I have. <laughs> What, what kind of music do you think they listen to? They're fucking deaf. Probably all bass. Like, <laughs> you are 100% correct. Have you ever How been to, I like, know? a rap party where, like, the, the bass is so, like, deafening? It, like, pounds your chest in? Like, uh... Like, that was the music. I'm like, holy shit. Like, my beer was shaking in my hand. I was like, oh my god. And then trying to watch deaf people try to sign while they're drunk... Like, uh, it's kind of like waving back and forth. I'm like, oh my god. Hmm. Because then when the cop, the, the on, on campus police showed up to like tell everybody to go away, he's trying to tell them like, hey, you guys need to like go to your rooms. And of course, they don't understand what he's saying. He's fucking trying to speak like out loud. And they're like, uh, all fucking drunk. <laughs> I'm just sitting back with my beard just washed it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mark, that's a paper tactical in there. I'm good out here. Yeah, but you need the attachments. <laughs> hey, you're guys in the hill. Sweet. I just don't have a backpack, goddammit. I think the only other story I have deaf people wise was uh, the first year of IT. <laughs> like, I, have I ever told you about this one, Chris, where we uh, at the RITN? I told this one actually at uh, Mark's wedding. Do you know what I'm talking about? At the RITN, what we did? <laughs> what uh, Mark did? No. Uh, I did not do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we get to RIT our first year. I'm blown away how many deaf people are. I'm like, this is. I'm like, there's no effing I'm way. I'm going upstairs, fuck it. <laughs> Marsh right above you on his on the thing going up. You son of a bitch. Um. Oh, oh, oh! Uh-oh. Um. Oh.
There's another one. We sure is. Right to the left, Mark. I need a backpack. Oh. Oh. Got him. <laughs> Shit. You can go loot his bag. I'll loot the guy down here. All right, so <laughs> continue your story. All right, so we're at the RETN, and again, it's been probably a couple months into being at college, and I, after I didn't, I don't know, I don't remember if I knew there was a deaf community at the college before going there, but when I first went there, you know, you know what? How often are you around deaf and blind people? You know, not very often. So it's kind of like an, an enigma, you know? You're like, what the fuck? Like, they're fucking deaf? And you're like watching them, and it's fucking weird. They're signing. But then it got to a point where I saw so many. I'm like, bullshit, all these people are deaf. There's no fucking way. Like, they're, they've got to be, like, bullshitting us. So <laughs> um, so one day, so Mark and I, when we lived at the RITN, remember when you talked to that Alex guy on stream or whatever, and he was being really fucking weird? Yep. Yeah. It was that, it was that year. Um, what we do is we'd go get drinks up on, I think it's like the third floor or something. We had to go down a floor or something because they had like, um, the food, uh, like the, the stack machine. Machines. Yeah. The vending machines. And so, but it's in this like little like cranny room. And so, uh, Mark and I went down there and we went to walk in the room, but there's these three, I'm pretty sure it was three of them, three chicks and they weren't saying anything, but they were all just kind of standing there. But then they started signing me. I'm like, Mark, they're all fucking deaf. So I can't tell them, like, hurry up. There's kind of like, they're like standing a little back, like basically back up against the wall. And so I'm like, here, Mark. I'm like, I'm like, Mark, this is bullshit. I'm like, watch this. So I was going to test out to see if they're really deaf. So I walk up and like get in front of them. And I'm like right in front of them with my back to them. And I bend over to look at the Oreos, like at the bottom. And I just like let out this fart. <laughs> and I kind of like looked behind me to see if like they said anything, but they're just still signing away. I'm like, holy shit, they're actually deaf. And and then I was like, all right, let's get out of this bitch. And I think we went to a different floor and got drinks, but because obviously they'd smell it sooner or later, but they they didn't hear it. So I was like, well, I guess they are really fucking deaf. <laughs> so they just rip ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what other fucking stupid deaf people stories I got. Oh, Mark's line is shot up. There's people at 160 